When I was young, I had only two ambitions. The first was to always be happy, and the second was to make my parents proud of me. Seeing my parents smiling at my achievements was the greatest feeling in the world. All I knew and wanted to know was that in order to impress others, you got to make a little effort. Just like climbing a flight of stairs, the sweats and panting are all worth it. For after the climb, you're at the top, and that's all that matters. Life is all about how others see you, how others judge you. If I have the choice to kill the devil within me, why not? Hello? Hello? You look so beautiful. Do you want to marry me? because it'll take like forever. <coughs> One of my friends said that she drinks five cups of coffee a day. But she's still so fat. Why? Because she takes them with a lot of condensed milk. Okay class, time for you to take a water break. <coughs> I'm going to have some water. <coughs> What's your name again? Why are you sitting out of the game? Are you okay? <coughs> Um, Lisa, if you miss me, you can have just called me in your normal voice. Hey, Poodle. You know what a Poodle is? A dog? Yeah, a dog. A pet. Like you were in primary school, a teacher's pet. Did you just smoke? Buddha, you never saw me in the toilet. You hear me? I know all about your bus and street valley high. I heard about it from Shirley. Now repeat after me. I never saw Brittany in the toilet. I never saw Brittany in the toilet. Good. Better remember what you just said. If not, topping this whole school will be about a young girl named Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Who are you? I'm Miss Chitra, the teacher counselor. It's okay, Elizabeth. I'm aware of your problem. What problem? About your past. It's okay. It's only me and other teachers who know about this, and we have got records. And we are being very tightly about this. Now, are you still in contact with your psychiatrist? No. Elizabeth, you need to get in touch with your psychiatrist. It seems like. And there's nothing else. I think I'd better get back to class. You know, you scared the heck out of everyone just now. The guy who was just in front of you, he freaked out. Tell me, did he touch your chest? Is that why you yelled so loud? You should tell the teachers, that's molesting. 
he didn't touch my chest. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. The surface area and diameter of the chest is too small. He'll most likely miss if he tries. I prefer to be alone. You've got to be kidding. There are like millions of students around here. You can't find a place where you'll be alone. Yes, honey. We have protection. This can be a mistake. No, no mistake. You don't want to be responsible for this baby. We are 15. We will be jailed or something. You have to abort the baby. You don't want to be responsible for this baby. I thought you and I were the perfect couple. Get off of me. You have to abort the baby. Who am I to decide the outcome of a life? I'm not a murderer. All I want to be is perfect. Between a murderer and a victim, I'll choose to be a victim. Great. Absolutely great. Of all the people to be stuck with doing a project, I'm being stuck with you losers to do genetics and hereditary. What's worse, we still have to stay back after school to go to the library to finish this stupid project. Actually, I'm cool with any topics. Just treat me as a walking encyclopedia. Ooh, little Einstein with the big head. Try me. Okay, <coughs> what's heavier? Hot water or cold water? Cold water. It's denser in colder temperature. If you want a detailed explanation, you have to understand the movement of particles. 
Um, what is Atesha Talangia Atesha? Gee, I don't know what's that. <laughs> You're not God after all. It's a genetic disorder. That's it. We are doing a topic on the genetic disorder. You girls will take care of the presentation and writing while I will take care of the researching. brought me to a specialist and he told me that my cough is not caused by my asthma it's caused by cystic fibrosis what 65 roses it's cystic fibrosis it's a genetic disorder passed on from parents affecting the lungs this means I'm not infectious so what kind of disease is it well the problem causes the sufferer to create excessive mucus in the lungs making it necessary to spit out the mucus regularly. Due to massive <coughs> mucus production, bacteria grow and breed in lungs. So, what now? Well, it's curable. The average lifespan of the sufferer is 36 years old and 40% of them live through beyond 18. And the good news is I'm only 16 next month. to celebrate Chuling's birthday. But how can she sing? She calls all the time. How about we just have a simple celebration at my house? We can watch DVDs and eat snacks. Class, please listen to me carefully. I've got the bad news for all of you. Han Chuling passed away this morning at 1.55 a.m. Due to massive hemolysis. I've got something to tell you. Remember that day, that article about a student getting raped? With my picture on the class notice board? Yeah, seriously, Pudo. I wasn't the one who put it there, okay? Yeah, I know. Because I put it there. I arrived early that day, put it there to continue my role as a victim and to make everyone else look like murderers. So should I be surprised? Or shocked? I think you should be angry. Or ask me why I did that. Everything that you do is obviously to benefit you. Let me tell you a story, you know. There was once this poor girl who wanted to be rich to impress all her friends. She wanted to be tough, a bully. Then she picked up smoking. She really used to call us twins. How ironically true. Both of us with our imperfect lives, trying to seek happiness just by pretending to be a perfect person. All it takes is a girl with imperfect health just to lead a perfect life. <laughs> 